Hello, gorgeous soul. Have you missed me? I've missed you, although I have been doing quite a few Instagram lives where I'm doing tarot readings and screen sharing, which is quite exciting. Anyway, here we are with the July monthly astrology, and it's really exciting. Ah, uh, June was super intense and quite scary at certain points, but we are through that now, and we have an extraordinary fabulous, positive, miraculous, potentially amazing July. And that is because one of the things I'm going to talk about, and this is a general, but when you get, if you can forward along to your sign if you want, but listen to this, we've got a mystic rectangle, if you include the moon. And this is amazing because it supports us in our journey. One of my friends describes it like this. It's like the Oscar nomination envelope. And when you open it, you're the winner. Your destiny is written there. How you can make the most of your spiritual gifts. How you can suddenly have a revelation about how to resolve deep-seated issues and so much more. Can't even explain the wonder of a mystic rectangle. So, ugh, I am there for it. On top of that, we have a spectacular new moon in Cancer, which is great for manifesting. And we have Mercury trine Jupiter. I think it's a trine. Is it a trine? Yes, it is a trine. <laughs> and that is glorious and so much more. So here's your monthly astrology. Hey, Cancer. While in some ways you're urged to be a rebel at the beginning of this month, which is not necessarily in your nature sometimes, particularly when it comes to those close to you and your home environment. On the other hand, you are digging very firm foundations and carving a new future for yourself. It's got a lot of potential this month. So the argy-bargy, the potential stress is when we have Mars opposing Saturn. Mars is about fire, energy, war, clashing, but also drive. And it's opposing Saturn, which is rules, structure, responsibility. But it may be that you've decided that it's time to come into your power and that you're going to stand up for yourself. And that may rock the boat a little bit. Do you know what? You've got to be true to you. There is a Mars. Mars also is squaring Uranus, planet of the unpredictable. And it's like you're finding security within yourself, within your beliefs, within who you really know you are. And you want real security, security that matters. And you want to create abundance, but you don't necessarily want to toe the line this month. You, you are becoming more into your power, into your sense of being a magician. And that comes to a head when we have the new moon in Cancer. And this is a, a very strong moon for you. And it's an opportunity for a brand new beginning to let go of the past, to get rid of any any on feelings that you don't want to have to get rid of anything that you don't want to take through to the next phase and, and be very aware that on this new moon anything you put out to the universe it's almost like you're making a commitment you're making a you know you're putting an order into the universe so think about what it is you want to create for your future and who you are and if you truly express your unique soul what would you say all of this is coming up then we have mercury going into your sign which means your words are spells what you say can come into reality. And it also, your energy and your thoughts influence not only your life, but your connections to other people. I truly believe people are telepathic and they can, well, yeah, I don't know what we're thinking, but people pick up what we truly feel. And you'll be noticing that a lot this month. There's very powerful moments astrologically this month, particularly when Venus and Mars come together. There's a whoosh of power going through you. And again, you're confident, you're secure, and hopefully you feel loved enough to create this security that you've been craving in your way. The big news for me, oh, we also have the sun in Cancer, try Neptune. Neptune is the planet of spirituality, boundaries, also um, lies and truths can be revealed around that time when the sun trines Neptune. But again, you're forging ahead and you're heading towards the truth of your life. And the mystic rectangle, which you're heavily involved in because the sun is in Cancer within that mystic rectangle, is saying to you, go for it. And here's a big reveal. So there will be some news or even just a revelation within yourself about what you need to know to carry you forward to the next stage. And it's like, hopefully it'll be some kind of prize and you'll You'll feel that information as a big like, woo, you know, exciting moment for you. 
There is a bit of an energetic clash when the sun opposes Pluto on the 17th. That's quite sparky. If there's anything wrong in any of your intimate relationships or partnerships, it could come to a head then. But equally, it can be a very passionate time. The sun is entering Leo and waving you goodbye on July the 22nd, depending on where you are. And again, you're stepping into a phase of right. Now, I know what I want to do. I'm going to dig those foundations and I'm going to work towards what I want. The full moon in Aquarius is very intense for you because it's in your primal zone. So anything you've been burying or hiding or feeling, you might find yourself feeling intense anger. You might find yourself feeling intense obsession or jealousy or any primal emotion. If that's the case, sit with it and say, okay, what is this telling me? Is there an area in my life I'm giving my power away? And that's why I have this primal emotion. Um, it's a very intense day. I mean, for some people, it'll be intense good, but either way, it's full on. Uh, Mercury is leaving your sign on the around the 28th. And But again, you, you know what you want to commit to. You've already said, carved out and done. Fingers crossed. Of course, it's up to you what you need to do to create this next phase of stability and abundance. Finally, we have Mars going into Virgo on July the 29th. And it's you are filled with ideas and you have got a lot to say. Be careful you don't get argumentative around that time. Take those thoughts, take those ideas and channel them in a positive route. Otherwise, you could be like... Rah, 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 and... Um, getting yourself you're very a bit intolerant put it that way around that time but you're also your ideas are strong take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon don't forget to come visit me on instagram at michelle knight michelle with one l and on facebook where i do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually michelle knight astrologer and of course my website michelle if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics so much love to you